Just 10 days after the release from prison, Basiru Faye and Osman Sonko have seized the reins of Senegal's government in a stunning turn of events. Faye celebrating his 44th birthday clinched the presidency, while Sonko has been appointed prime minister. This rapid ascent marks a remarkable transformation from the previous roles as tax inspectors running on an anti-corruption and anti-establishment platform. Their victory at the polls underscores deep-seated dissatisfaction among Senegalese citizens, particularly the youth, who have borne the brunt of economic hardships and high unemployment during Macky Sall's 12-year tenure. Sall left office with alarming statistics. 39% of Senegal's population living in poverty and nearly one-third of young people unemployed. Faye's path to power was marred by imprisonment in April 2023, accused of spreading false news, contempt of court and defamation. Sonko faced his own legal troubles, initially charged with rape but convicted of immoral behavior. Protests erupted, resulting in casualties, injuries and mass arrests. Sal's attempt to stifle opposition further fueled discontent. He dissolved Sonko's party, Pastef, alleging insurrection and sought to delay elections, an unprecedented move in Senegal's history. However, the Constitutional Court upheld the election timeline, culminating in Faye's landslide victory on March 24th. Faye and Sonko campaigned on promises to combat corruption, restore stability, and assert economic sovereignty. They advocated for replacing Senegal's currency, renegotiating resource contracts, and addressing socio-economic disparities. While Faye intends to reform the SFA franc, instead of abandoning it, this task has drawn scrutiny. Supporters hope this shift is strategic rather than a departure from the electoral mandate. Notably, President Basiru Faye is married to two women, reflecting Senegal's diverse religious landscape, a Muslim Marie Kwan Faye and a Christian Absa Faye. The ascendance to power represents a systematic shift in Senegal's political landscape, propelled by widespread disillusionment and a yearning for change. As they navigate governing, Faye and Sonko face the formidable task of translating campaign promises into tangible reforms. That's it for today. Thank you for joining me. This is Janet Global. Till next time, bye-bye.